So that's what happened. That's to catch anyone up who was not here before. That's what happened. That's why I've been offline for a couple weeks. But that's all right, because we're back now. And I know what all of you guys are going to do is not only that you're going to mount that like button because you appreciate that effed up news is back, but you're also going to join my locals community because locals is the only place on the internet that I do trust that I will not be censored. I will not be banned. I will forever be on locals and will be able to talk about whatever I want to talk about on locals without worrying about what YouTube or any of the big tech platforms think of it. Now locals is free to join. I'm going to repeat that again. Locals is free. It is free. I know it doesn't look good right now with what I have on the screen, but it is free to join. You can go to kb.locals.com and sign up as a free member. When you sign up as a free member, you get access to all of my videos that I post on YouTube, except you get them ad free. You also get to see what other people are posting in the community. You get to see what people are talking about. But if you do want to unlock all of the features of Locals, as well as support the work I'm doing, it does come. You got to get a little skin in the game, as Dave Rubin would say. It comes with a cost of $5 for a monthly membership, $50 for an annual membership, which gives you two months for free. And if you just want to be a good a good supporter and support the work I'm doing, you can also make one-time donations. Listen, I know some of you are, are channel members on my YouTube channel, and totally, if that's the right thing for you, if that's the best way to do it for you, I totally get it. No harm, no foul. But I really do have a very strong preference for people joining my locals community. You're going to get to, to attend two Zoom calls a week with me. You're going to get to do debate club and not, not just with me, with like other people in the community as well, because people in the community are like far cooler than I am, to be honest. But you're, we're going to get to chat. We're going to get to know each other. We're going to do debate club together, book club together. We do craft and bitches. We have a community discord just for locals. A lot of my locals are watching on YouTube right now, so they can tell you how awesome it is. And I appreciate all of you. Janice Zeal is in my locals. Janice says, I miss the crap out of you. So has my hair. Janice originally got recently got SJW hair and it looks great. It's very, very blue. I'm happy to be back. Janice. Locals is the best place on the internet, guys. Make sure you come and join us. And for the minimum reason, guys, like even if you don't sign up for a paid account, like I don't care if you sign up for a paid account. I don't care. What I care about is you signing up for a free account. And that way, if YouTube does something boneheaded, like ban me for two weeks for content that they manually reviewed and approved, I at least have a way to communicate with you and let you know what's going on. So this is the age that we're in. It is what it is. I hope I see all of you in locals. All right, let's dig into it for our effed up news of the week. The first thing I want to do is complain about Republicans. It wouldn't be a week if I didn't complain about Republicans because Republicans are so feckless. I'm sorry. They're so feckless. And I'm talking about the politicians in this case. I'm not talking about average everyday people. I am talking about the politicians, even though If the voter base would hold Republicans accountable, then perhaps Republican politicians would actually start doing things. But no, no, we have this article from last week, of course, in the midst of the epic Biden foobar that is Afghanistan. Listen, man, I've made my views on Afghanistan clear. I don't think we ever should have been there in the first place. I was protesting this stuff back in college. Yes, I am that old. I was protesting this back in college. I didn't think we should have gone into Afghanistan when we did. I sure as hell don't think we should have been there for 20 years. And I am com- I was completely in support of withdrawing each and every person in Afghanistan. I always thought that the second we withdrew, the Taliban were going to take it over anyway. And that proved to be correct. But I will say this. I will say this. What I did not anticipate was Joe Biden leaving behind like $80 billion worth of equipment and guns and money and all these and and Black Hawk helicopters. I did not I did not anticipate the Biden F up of and American citizens, least we forget American citizens. I did not anticipate that the Biden administration would be so effing incompetent that they would like, I mean, can you imagine a worse F up? to this withdrawal from Afghanistan? I can't. And it is, I'm sorry, it is an impeachable offense if there ever was one. And I don't care who controls what. I do not care. Because my biggest problem with the Republicans is they never do anything. They don't even try. They don't even 
try. Think about all of the big tech censorship that's going on nowadays. They could have made statement after statement after statement after statement after statement after statement after statement against big tech censorship. They could have tried to do something. We have all this stuff now that all, all you know, so many things are coming out about COVID that I can't talk about on YouTube because of big tech censorship. Like so many things are coming out about COVID that was dubbed a conspiracy theory a year ago. And now we know that it's absolutely correct. So many, th and these were chances for Republicans to do something to say how many people got banned off of social media entirely for stating things that were absolutely true and have since been proven to be true, but were banned off these big tech platforms, still have not been reinstated on these big tech platforms, and instead they do nothing. And this is an example, another example of Republicans doing nothing. Effing Mitch McConnell, who just got reelected to Senate last year for another six year term. Because the voters on the Republican Party are feckless. I'm sorry. You keep electing these do-nothing politicians and you expect things to, things to change. And then you say, and then you say, well, who else do you expect us to vote for? Don't vote for these people. Let them lose. The only way you will ever get politicians that it will actually do something is if they know that they will lose if they do not do something. No, this is not it's like so I'm seeing people in the chat say we need term limits. No, 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 no. You need to stop voting for horrible politicians. If you stop voting for horrible politicians, you create term limits. We have term limits. They're called elections. If you don't want someone in office, stop voting for them. And then the Republican Party will learn that they need to actually put up candidates that are actually going to do something. So let's read about the latest do nothing Republican strategy. Are we going to impeach Joe Biden or even attempt to impeach Joe Biden or even talking about impeaching Joe Biden over the epic foobar that is Afghanistan? No, of course not. Why would we? It's not like the Democrats tried to impeach Trump over a flipping phone call. No, no, nope, not going to do anything. Senator Mitch McConnell says no impeachment of Biden over Afghanistan. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell on Wednesday against last week waved off GOP calls for Joe Biden's impeachment over his administration's handlings of Afghanistan's military withdrawal, saying it is an issue voters will have to decide at the ballot box. But of course, of course, well, I mean, this actually makes sense, doesn't it? Doesn't it make sense? Because Republicans love being controlled opposition. That's all they are. Republicans don't know how to lead. They don't know how to do any of this stuff. They don't know how to create a vision. They don't know how to say, here's what we want to do for America. The only thing that Republicans know how to run on is, don't the Democrats suck? Don't the Democrats really suck? Don't you hate the Democrats? The Democrats are awful. Joe Biden never does anything right. And this is this is why Republicans, this is why I'm so afraid that Republicans are going to lose in 2022, because they have learned nothing. They have learned nothing. They have no vision for the country. They have no strategy for the country. They provide absolutely no leadership. The only thing the Republicans do is say, doesn't Joe Biden suck? Don't the Democrats suck? Don't you hate the Democrats? Aren't the Democrats crazy? This is not a vision. You're not giving anyone anything to vote for. And they're doing it again. Oh, we're just going to have to, we're just going to have to be controlled opposition until next November. That's all we're going to do. The president is not going to be removed from office, McConnell told Republicans at an event in Kentucky. It's a Democratic House, a narrowly Democratic Senate. That's not going to happen. Well, he's correct about that. He's absolutely correct. Joe Biden's not going to get removed from office. I'm sorry, folks, he's not. But that's actually not the point. That is not the point. It's not the point. The point is trying. The point is showing up and doing something trying to do anything other than saying, doesn't Joe Biden suck? Joe Biden is the worst. Isn't Kamala Harris the worst? Don't we hate the Democrats? The Democrats are crazy. Look at all these crazy things the Democrats are doing. The point is that you try. And they repeatedly do this again and again and again. And you wonder why people like me don't think the Republicans or the GOP or the political right take their responsibility in the culture war seriously because they never do anything except say, the other side sucks. The other side is awful. I swear to God, they have become exactly like the Democrats were under Trump because all the Democrats did under Trump was say, isn't Trump awful? Trump is the worst. Trump is psychotic. Trump is sending mean tweets. Trump is a narcissist doing this, that, and the other thing. Trump is the worst thing ever. That's all they did. That's all they did. And the Republicans relied on Trump to do everything. 
while simultaneously effing working against him the entire time. And this is why we are where we are, because no one wants to be a leader. Everyone just wants to blame the other guy for everything and not do a dang thing. And Republican voters, I'm sorry, these are the politicians that you will vote for. I can't come down on the Democrats when you vote for horrible politicians. I can't. This is your fault. These are your elected leaders that know that know emphatically, man, they know emphatically that you are still going to vote for them, no matter what they do, no matter how little they stand up for you, no matter how little they do to fight for anything, you're still going to go to that ballot box, you're still going to check off their name, and they know it, and that's why they do not represent you ever. They know that you're going to bet you're going to say, well, who else are we going to vote for? Stop voting for them. His comments came after Senator Lindsey Graham on Sunday said that Congress should try to remove Biden from office over America's chaotic exit. Lindsey effing Graham. Is doing more than the Republican leadership. Lindsey Graham. God damn it which has left up to 200 Americans and scores of Afghan allies stranded in the Taliban-controlled country. Yeah, I think Biden's been derelict in his duties as commander-in-chief, Graham said on CBS's Face the Nation. You think? I don't think he got bad advice and took it. I think he ignored sound advice. So that's where we are with that. Biden has the worst military F-up in a generation. And what are the Republicans going to do about it? Absolutely nothing, because that is what the Republicans do.